For spring break, we flew down to Houston, Texas to visit our friend Tamara. You just secured your first job interview. Woo! <laughs> it's time to dress for success. The odds of getting a job right out of college are like 600 to 1. What do you think, boys? <laughs> what do you think, boy? <laughs> Cute. It's just kind of funny when they fight. I don't love this. You don't? I love this. I, I think it needs to be all. shorter. We were interviewing with two principals at, at the same, same time. time. It's just super nerve wracking. If they got offered the Houston job, Abby would want to stay more at home and Britt would be more willing to come to Houston to, and move. Really? You look excited. <laughs> My name's Abby Hensel and I am Brittany Hensel. We are 22 years old. People have been curious about us since we were born, for obvious reasons. We're, we're identical twins who are conjoined. But our parents never let us use that as an excuse. While life as a conjoined twin sometimes has its challenges, I like this, but I don't need it. We were raised to believe that we could do anything we wanted, so we do. We like to think that the most amazing thing about us is we're just like everyone else. We really are normal, but I'm definitely more normal than Brett. Whatever. Anyways, this is the story of our normal, regular life. Well, our normal conjoined life. This is our life. Yeah, right? Oh, really? We are seniors in college. We go to Bethel University. We are studying elementary education with a math emphasis. We are graduating in May. We aren't on campus much anymore. We do 40 hours of student teaching a week, and then every Monday we have an hour seminar. Yep. Oh, hey friends. Good afternoon or good evening. I know you've all been student teaching today, correct? Yeah. yeah. So you've already had a long day and now you're, you were the teacher and now you're sitting in class again, right? Oh. How many of you have resumes? Yeah, Emily. Yeah. Awesome. So today I'm going to be talking about resumes, a little bit about interviewing and networking. It's very unlikely to get a job right out of college because the odds are like 600 to 1 teacher position. So, so that's a little depressing. But you have to try anyway, so we've gotten our resumes and applications out for a couple different districts and just waiting to hear back from them. You throw it out there and let it go. <laughs> um, the last thing I wanted to actually talk about is interviewing. So we're looking for jobs in the metro area, the Twin just Cities, which is where us and our roommates are looking for yeah, a place to live and it's close to our family, so that would be the most ideal. If you build relationships or have a connection with someone, what is it? Oh. 12 to 15. 35%. Close. 60, 70, 80%. We do have an interview coming up in Texas over spring break, so that's an option as well. Bye, bye. Ashley, I'll send you that. Oh, I was looking for you. How are you? After our resume class, it was super exciting because we got to pick up our cap and gown. It made it significant that we're actually graduating. Oh my gosh. We're graduating. Yeah. You are. You are too. What with a road. Me. People will ask questions school-wise about like, do they have one major or two? They're getting two degrees, but they're all attending obviously the same classes and one major, so they pay one and a half tuition. <laughs> With the bigger head, right around. You know, I Abby. don't know. Okay. <laughs> that was, I thought that was a mean joke. We're actually dressing you right now. <laughs> That's okay. This is really exciting. Are you nervous? No. Are you nervous? Yes. Yeah. Hello, graduated? I'm a tripper. If you know what I was going to say, that could really get like, yeah. bad. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I'm going to yeah. cry. Wait, how long is this? I feel like a mom. We're graduating. You're not a mom. We're graduating together. Whoa. Graduation is like super exciting. exciting. But it's kind of bittersweet at the same time because you want to move on, and we, I want to be teaching, and I don't want to be doing schoolwork anymore. <laughs> and I'm right. <laughs> but at the same time, we don't want to leave like the college life and being with our friends, not worrying about jobs and stuff like that. 9 a.m. This is gonna be us Wait, girls. <laughs> are we all in the same one? We're all in the same one. We graduate together. Yes. Hello. So it's it's super exciting, so, but um, at the same time. Yeah. My college is home, so we've been there for four years, so it'll be definitely different. So it's definitely bittersweet. Just look at it. You guys are ready. To oh my time to graduate. I'm seriously oh gonna cry. This is so sad. Look at me. 2012! Woo! That was nice. That was nice.
Nice. <laughs> For spring break, we flew down to Houston, Texas. You just secured your first job interview. Woo! <laughs> All right, boys. What do you think, boys? Cute. We have that. We don't. It's kind of funny when they fight. I don't love this. You don't? I love this. Okay. Yeah. For spring break, we flew down to Houston, Texas to visit our friend Tamara and her family. Um, our roommate Kayla came with us this time, so that was really fun. And our mom, we did some shopping. That sounds great. Thank you so much for that opportunity. And we'll be sure to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. You just secured your first job interview. Woo! <laughs> and we also went down there because we had job interviews at two of the schools that Tamara works at. She's a lunch coordinator there. All right, well, it's time to dress for success. All right. Let's go see if we can find something to wear. <laughs> oh, this is fun. I like that. Oh yeah, that's you. That's me, that's fun. You guys oh. like leggings? Yes, I love leggings. What about these? We know Tamara because she had conjoined twins as well about 16 years ago. Her babies passed away, but we still became really good friends. Our mom and her are very close. Brittany always likes the hats. For the job interview. I'm Patty, Abby and Brittany's mom. What do you think, boys? What do you think, boys? <laughs> they could be the life of the party, and they're not afraid to speak their mind, but they've both got very big hearts, and they're very high achievers. Do you like this one? Girls? Yeah. I'm proud of them and everything that they do. And Britt, what do you think of this? For who? You. <laughs> okay, I guess that means... <laughs> Mom and Tammy have a way different style than us. Look at this. That would not look good on me. How about this? No. No? Okay. All right. <laughs> They're older, and we're working with Mom to get to more of her own style. So they'd pick out stuff that we would not like at all. You like anything like this? Or just a, a polka dot skirt with We're a soft, fall off. Yeah, solid, <laughs> like a little cardigan. <laughs> it is more you, Tamara. Yeah, that would look good on you. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to? Oh, that's interesting. Oh my gosh, I was like, that yes, is awesome. Yes, Mom. White shirt up here. No, thank you. Well, you got a nice little selection in there, the way it looks. Yeah, we did it all right. Are you ready to try on? Let's go try on. Okay, I just like earrings. Yes, no. The little baggy. Thing. Yeah, you like going on. Yeah. 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 I like that cardigan. That looks really yeah. good. Though. I like yeah. that a lot. My job when we go shopping is I'm the size getter. We need the next size bigger in that jacket. Okay. Get the things back on the hanger, pick up the dressing room. That's cute. Or don't you like it? No. All right. <laughs> Do you like the top? No. Okay. Okay, well that's okay. I don't really know what's going on. No, no there's a lot it, going on there. Yeah. Okay. I don't even think Abby likes to shop that much. No. Abby does more than Brittany. Really? Kayla was way wrong. No. I definitely like shopping a lot more, and I would rather not spend money, because money's tight. I like this, but I don't need it. I like that. You can hear them like bickering right. in the bathroom, like, we're wearing yeah. this. No, we're not. We're going to wear that. <laughs> No, Abby, we just wore something like that yesterday. <laughs> Definitely, if they need a tiebreaker, that's when they reach out for more opinions on what they should do. But Evan and Britt are very independent. Do you like these? Yeah, I love you. About these? <laughs> no. They want to be about these. Yeah, those are cute. <laughs> okay, yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> we found some cute shirts and stuff like that and a couple earrings, and we found a cute cardigan that we can wear for teaching. Um, nothing really for the interview, but just some nice dressier clothes that is always nice to have. This, and this, and this. Let's go. And this. Call it a day. <laughs> call it a day. Let's call it a day. It is like 10 o'clock. Well, it makes me feel good that you found something. I when love it. young and starting off like that, everybody says, so, oh, that's an old shop. We're not old. We're just very you nice. You are stylish. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Thank you. you. Okay. Next door. <laughs> bye, 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 guys. <laughs> I think it's almost like, what are they, nails on top of the That is cute. Ooh, that is really cute, too. We have that. We have it. We don't. We have one like it, and it's not. Exactly. It's not a bad idea to have a couple of them. No one is. 
we would definitely, definitely have different, different styles. styles. Brittany's a lot more like neutrals and pearls <laughs> and stuff like that. And I would rather have it be more fun and bright and colorful. And Those are cute, you guys. Well, I stomp around like a horse. That's okay. All right, girls, let's see a model them for Kayla over there. Cute. Hold up this dress <laughs> with it. And see if you guys like that. Oh, my God. Hey, I like know, them. They're way too small, but... They're so cute. That's cute. Oh, they show your calf muscles nicely. I know. I'm just... <laughs> they're a little small. I'll just go try on my dresses and then okay. call it a day. <laughs> that is a phrase of the day. Call it a day. No. Oh, pretty. I don't know. No. Yeah, they didn't look. With a black you. belt? No. no. <laughs> Kayla talked to me. It's just kind of funny when they fight. They just kind of bicker, and you can—they're not super loud about it. Look oh, at you. I don't love this. I love this. I think. I think it needs to be shorter. And I don't think I like this. Yeah. Let me see, girls. No. They always love getting advice from their friends and family. Even if they're like, Abby would say that, I don't want to go out, Britt wants to, what do we do? And we're like, well, what did you do last night? And they're like, well, we went out. And we're like, okay, well, then you're staying home. Nice work today. Nice work today. Yeah. Don't you dare high five. <laughs> <laughs> Are you not the high fiver? No, I never high fives. How about the knuckles? No, she doesn't uh, do that either. What are we, 12? High five. <laughs> So we'll have an interview tomorrow, right? Would you really consider moving down here? Mm -hmm. Everybody goes to spring break to get tan. Just like a roast in the oven. <laughs> <laughs>and our mom went down to Texas to visit our friend Tamra. We went shopping and then we decided to go get manicures and pedicures to prepare for our Texas interview. This is Andrea. She's going to be doing mm -hmm. one of the manicures. Hi, Hi Jill. Jill. I want to pick out a color. we got all the colors right behind you. Mm -hmm. okay. Do you want to get this? Yeah. Here's some colors. Do we pick out... Colors. What about this, Brittany? Do you like this color? Oh, I want this one for my... Which one's for your toes? Oh, my toes. Toes, nails. We need you to have this one at home. Okay. I like that one. This one, my toes. fun. Is that fun? Or should yeah. I do a brown? Not a brown. It's summertime, right? Yeah, well, okay. it's spring. <laughs> it's spring. Do y'all get manicures and pedicures often? Not too often. Brittany um, hates getting, I hate getting my nails done. I just hate it. So it was definitely a compromise thing because Brittany doesn't like it and I do and Kayla does. Kayla does too, so we yeah. did it. We did it. It's dry already, so we won't mess that up. Perfect. I do like the end result. I just don't like the process of getting my nails done. But she doesn't mind. We don't mind doing our nails. Yeah, I don't mind doing my nails ourselves. But I wouldn't just would rather not go somewhere and get them done. Kind of my own space kind of person. I don't really like to be touched all that much. <laughs> I can't believe she's doing that. Well, Patty just wanted to see how this color may look on her feet, so I thought that I would be more than, you know, obliged be to help vegan. her out. Abby, Brittany, what do you think? Looks great. Do you like it? It looks good. I feel like I've been pampered too. <laughs> <laughs>
to you. I told you you could trust me a long time ago. I'm sorry. You chose not to. kind of took control. Oh, easy does it. Easy does it. We're doing so well. Slow down. How do we slow down? Drag your feet. The bike was a little run down. They didn't have any brakes, so you had to drop your feet and drag. But we loved it. It was super funny. Way to get some exercise. Hey. Great. Good job. Wow. Tamara has a 14-year-old daughter named Victoria. Okay, hold on. No, we're going to tap. Victoria got to come home a little bit early, and um, Kayla and us were on our regular bike ride. Bike ride. And so she wanted to come with us, so we let her have a turn. Okay, ready? Set. Go. I started on a different foot than you. Go, go. Ah! Go. Yo. Yes. 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 Go slow, go slow. Okay. Good work. Balance. Oh, Balance. She did really she well. Did really well. It's weird, I can't control. It's I know, it's real weird, isn't it? The All back right. person on the bike literally has no, no control no. over anything except for pedaling, which that's a little bit scary, scary on itself, and I feel like you're more of the person that's the balance on the it, bike. In the back, the front person has to kind of tell the back person what way you're gonna turn, because if one leans this to the left and one leans to, to the, the right, right, it's a disaster. Yep, we're just gonna turn. You're doing good. Ah. You're doing good. You're doing good. Ah. You're doing good. Ah. You're doing good. Ah. Woo. Ah. And always starting is super hard because you can't get like the right timing and stuff like, like that. that. But we managed it. We did great. Next time, think we'll do a pop of wheeling. Oh gosh. Yeah. Drag your feet. Drag your feet. Okay, we're gonna just walk it back up. Ready? Gotcha. All right. Woohoo! Five. Two. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Oh God. <laughs> cool. Mm -hmm. But we're gonna spend long hours here just to get the last beam, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the last beam. The last beam. Ray. The number one priority, obviously, for the Texas trip was the sun. Everybody goes to spring break to get tan, but I was cloudy. We just thought maybe we could give it a shot. We call it quits, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that. Wow, success. It was kind too of cold, cloudy cold. and too cold, and so that was a waste of our time, but it was still funny. Yeah. The tan lines are brewing, I can feel it. <laughs> Just like a roast in the oven. Where did it come up with this stuff? I don't know. I think we should call it quits and pretend we're not idiots. Alright, one, two, three. Come on, Kayla, get up. I can't. Oh, I stole your towel. Yeah, can I have one? Yeah. They're really cool. <laughs> no, my hair's wet. We try hard. Okay, what do you have? I'm gonna show you some of my old archives, okay? okay? And okay. please feel free that if you wanna use anything out of my files, know that they are for you to use. Okay. okay. Tammy used to be a teacher, so she wanted us to Just look through her stuff, stuff, see if we could get some ideas. This was one lesson I made for my fifth graders one time. I was teaching them addition facts. Addition in fifth grade? triple digits, not just single digits. Now, did you oh. ever do anything like this? Well, I mean, we do algebra in fifth grade now, but... Okay. You do algebra in fifth yeah. grade now? Oh, no, 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 no. See, they'd have to go through that, and then on the back would be the answer. That's pretty cool, though. Tamara hasn't been a teacher for a long time, okay. and so all of her stuff was super dated, and, like, things that she said a fourth grader would use, a second grader would now use. Put the little tag in it so that it, here, see if you guys can and what spin do you, it. And what do you call them? Fish facts. Oh, that's Fish creative. Facts. Fish math facts. It was fun to look through her old boxes of lesson plans and different props that she used and activities that she did with her students. It was super old, really old. You guys are going to have a lot of fun with your students. Your students yeah. are going to be very lucky to have you as their teacher. So we'll have an interview tomorrow, right? I actually got you guys two interviews. Okay, okay cool. cool. All right, they Where? are both um, looking for elementary teachers. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what grade level yet, but they do have openings in okay. both of their schools. And okay. tomorrow afternoon at 3.30, okay. you're going to meet with the two principals from each of their schools. That sounds good. Okay. Well, what's the job opportunities up there in Minnesota? Are there not a lot much. of teachers? No, there's no teach no jobs right now. Would you really, in your heart, consider moving down here? Mm -hmm. Think you could handle the heat? Yeah, I'll just sit in the sun. You'll sunbake after... You get out every of school day. every day? Every day. Just know that whatever you do in life, as long as you're happy, it won't even seem like work. Perfect. Perfect.
of Houston Galveston. Of Galveston, Houston Galveston is first. We were interviewing with two principals at, at the same time, time, which is super nerve wracking. All right, mom, we're ready. Good luck, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, mom. Oh my gosh. Oh, It was the morning of our first teaching job interview. The odds of getting a job right out of college are like 600 to 1. But you had to try anyways. Of Houston Galveston. Of Galveston. Houston Galveston is first. We were interviewing with two principals for two different schools at, at the same, same time, time, which isn't typical, but one of the principals had a really busy schedule and she really um, wanted to get a chance to interview us, and so both principals met together and did kind of like a joint interview. All right, Mom, I'm ready. All right, well, good luck, girls. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Stop. Give me a call when you're done. Get off me. <laughs> my mom had to leave early from the trip because she had to work the next day, so oh. on our way to the interview, Mom left yeah, for the airport. airport. Feeling fine about the interview? Not nervous? Not, Not nervous. Bitsy's nervous. All right, well, well, we should get going then. Okay, you have to be good. there at 3.30. Should okay. we get the car keys yeah, and get ready to head off keys. to the interview? Yeah. Do you have some? I'll go upstairs. Oh, thanks, Kel. All right. Adios. Okay. Bye. Oh, we're good. Okay, bye, Kayla. Bye, Kayla. Have a great day. <laughs> you bye, honey. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Since it was our first interview, we yeah. felt like we wanted to put our best foot forward and not be nervous, nervous about, about um, other things like the cameras, cameras and so still. we just went in by ourselves. Obviously right away we understand that we're, we're going to get one salary, salary because we're doing the job of one person. As maybe we experience comes in, work. we'd like to maybe negotiate a little bit considering we have two degrees and because we are able to give two different perspectives or teach in two different ways. One can be teaching and one can be monitoring and a answering questions like that. So in that sense, we can do more than one person. So obviously right away, we'd get one, one salary, salary and that's only fair because we're, we're newbies. If they got offered the Houston job, I think Abby, Abby would want to stay more at home and Britt would be more willing to come to Houston to, and move. I, I'm a homebody and I like to be home and stuff like that, but I'd, I could go. I wouldn't have a problem going. It would be super exciting. I definitely think they'd have to take more time to make a decision, especially if they're going to move or taking a job, because obviously they both need to be happy. And I think Abby would love working down here. It would just kind of, she'd need to get more used to the idea. <laughs> the interview went really well. They asked us questions, questions like classroom management, uh, behavior management, um, what methods you use for teaching, how you set up a lesson. Every time I give an answer, the one principal sat back and was like, that's exactly what I want to hear. That was really? an excellent answer. <laughs> they wanted to know a lot about their availability and everything. That's so good. Yeah, they, like, they, they kept just kept saying, like, I have no problem at hiring you, and I would you would be the person I call back. What a great day. No, <laughs> It would be a good opportunity if we got the job, and if we didn't, then it wasn't right, the right thing. So that's a big option. It could be definitely a big change, but it's an adventure, so we'll see. Hello. Hi, Mom. Hi, girl. How'd it go? Good. And they're wondering when I can come back for a second interview. I'll find out with you. Yeah, you'll find out with us. Right now is like just a big experience in every college student's life. No longer do you go to school in August but you have a job and you don't know where you're going to be and you can basically move anywhere and start your life over again. It's and super it's exciting. exciting. It's an exciting time, but it's just super nerve-wracking also. Bye, Mama. Love you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cheerio. <laughs> I guess we can high-five. <laughs> awesome. Just for you. Double high-five. <laughs> oh, boy.